Please check out lucidphilosophy.com for information on his logic books specifically and philosophical lessons generally. My understanding of logic comes from his online book, Lucid Logic. Links to his website and YouTube channel are in the description of this video. In this video, I will cover the following five informal fallacies. These are the appeal to nature fallacy, the false dilemma fallacy, the genetic fallacy, the slippery slope fallacy, and the cherry picking fallacy. The appeal to nature fallacy. This is when we argue that something is good because it is natural or bad because it is unnatural. For example, it is permissible to kill animals for food because it is natural. This is a fallacy because the mere fact that something is natural does not mean that it is permissible or good, e.g. rape and murder are natural but are wrong. Likewise, something being unnatural does not make it bad, e.g. use a computer is unnatural but not wrong to use. The false dilemma fallacy. This is when one illegitimately limits the number of alternatives available. For example, you are either for abortion during all nine months of pregnancy or against it for all nine months. This is a fallacy since there are other approaches one could take on the issue of abortion. One could, for instance, hold that abortion is permissible most of the time, but not all the time. The genetic fallacy. This is the dismissal of a claim because of its origin. For example, you only believe in God because you were raised that way. Therefore, your belief in God is unjustified. This is a fallacy because the origin of a belief does not tell us whether it is justified or unjustified. E.g., I was raised to believe that 2 plus 2 equals 4, but that does not mean my belief in this is unjustified. A belief's bad or dubious source does not make it unjustified. The slippery slope fallacy. This is when one argues that A will cause B and B will lead to undesirable C. Since we do not want C, we should avoid A. For example, if we allow people of the same sex to marry, we will eventually allow people to marry animals. Since this result is undesirable, we should not allow gay marriage. This is a fallacy because no good reason is given for why the undesirable result would happen. The cherry picking fallacy. This is when we look only for confirming evidence for our ideas. We ignore, suppress, do not see, or do not test for disconfirming evidence for our ideas. For example, all women are attracted to bad boys because this has been my experience. This is a fallacy in part because you are ignoring arguments against your view, which might be correct.